to engage in a system called AS tracking. And we find it extremely useful because we know that if we reflect on our own lives, that uh, the teenagers are one of real flux and change and that we go from being, uh, you know, from being so much younger to so much more mature, independent and equipped by the end of our time in a secondary school. Now, that, that rapid change is bound to have an effect on young people and um, the way that they're socially adapting, getting along to both their academics, uh, challenges in school, but also their, their relationships with their peer group and their relationship with adults. And we found this system called AS Tracking to be extremely useful in terms of giving, uh, giving us some basic data as to how that pupil was adjusting and what they might possibly be going through. What I like about it is that the system is relatively gentle in terms of the output it gives us, but um, also extremely practical. So a pupil might sit this assessment at one period in their life and the data might suggest that they're um, working extremely hard for, perfect, for perfection in many areas of their lives and that they're extremely dedicated and they're also extremely aware of how to adjust themselves to, to get on well with adults and to get on well with the outside world. And that's all extremely positive, but this system might just refer us to the possibility that that, that can be put the pupil or the person under a lot of pressure. And so it might encourage me in, in my capacity as a housemaster or a tutor to hold a conversation about how to relieve some pressure or how to develop a hobby or how to ensure that there's some downtime in the week. Another interesting readout might be from a pupil that is extremely independent. And, and the data might suggest that at that moment in time, they're enjoying their growing independence and their ability to learn uh, for themselves. And then as a result of that kind of um, you know, data readout, so to speak, it might encourage us to build systems for that young person to develop an increasing trust of others in order to take more guidance and instruction. And that's not because they're struggling. They might be a fantastic self-regulator and independent learner, but what would they gain from just being a little bit more flexible and a little bit more trusting of mentors, a little bit ready to take guidance and to reflect on how they, they can learn from the approach of others. What I really enjoy about using the AS tracking system is that I can share the data with the young person. It's theirs, it's not mine. They can take it with them when they leave. And we can focus on all of those very simple, often very gentle, practical suggestions. And I find that when, when we talk this through, you can see everybody's eyes light up. Do you know what that is me? That is a good suggestion. Perhaps I should work more in a group. Perhaps I could do this once or twice a week. And it just gives us a sense that we're, rather than reacting to something that might be a negative experience for people afterwards, as many schools might, rather than you know, picking up the pieces and, and, you know, trying to put things back together, we might just be spotting a problem that could emerge in a month's mm. time, in several months time in the future. And we're talking about it before it emerges. So in a way, it's sort of preemptive support in, mm. for our pupil. And again, that's why it's been an exciting system to, to have at this school for the past few years. And we're growing our capacity to offer it. And I'm sure that it's benefited the pupil so much to leave having gone through the experience. Mm, that that is really interesting I've not heard this from from other schools at all as far as I know so so just to recap it's a tool is it like a psychometric is it a questionnaire that the, the students yeah. take yeah it's actually quite a fun you know it, it, quite a fun process for the pupils to go through they can they can take it on their phone with their headphones in they just need a bit of private space it takes around 10 minutes something like that it doesn't take very long at all uh, our pupils are quite used to going through the process and being asked to sort of update it because as we said, they're in a period of rapid change. So you know, one term might, is not the same as the next. And um, they're asked various questions about hypothetical scenarios. And, and, and really, it, it, it's not too personal so as to, to make someone reluctant to complete. It's actually more sort of playful. And, um, you know, and, and again, they, they would look forward to resitting their, their new assessment and seeing what the new, uh, the new readouts are.